Hey, what's up guys? Austin Smith here. This is a collection of office supplies and art supplies and stuff that came from a garage sale in a Southwestern Bell Corporation box. This is sort of like the last video I did, except that one I had looked through everything. This one I haven't. I do know some of the stuff that's in here because I looked through the box, obviously, before I bought it, just to see. Sometimes they actually have nothing. It's very rare. So there's always you know, one or two interesting almost always one or two interesting little bits in everyone's you know pencil and pen and pencil collection but sometimes they strip those out before they sell them to you or sometimes just people are boring but this does have a few interesting things and I'm gonna go through it uh, mostly blind and hopefully that will make for a more exciting video we'll see we'll compare the two anyway uh, let's see if I can find the one thing that I knew about first. Can I sort of prop this up like this to make it more interesting? Let's see. Okay, we'll just start taking stuff out. There's a couple things that I know, though. I mean, obviously, this is just this is just a ruler. We got made in Japan. It's got a ruler. There's another ruler in here. Yeah, here's the other ruler. This is a metal one. Very hard to see. Let's see if that focuses. You can sort of see the tick marks there. That one's made in USA. There we go. Tiny six inch metal ruler. It's actually uh, probably going to go in my pencil case. I like that one. Anyway. Ow. That hurt my ears. Uh, this is the, the obvious um, elephant in the room, I guess. Here's the, the paper mate something or another. The paper mate uh, can't see because of the glare. That's what it is. Oh. Just opens like that. Okay. Paper mate pen and pencil set. Ooh, fascinating. I'm, I'm getting all the stuff that, you know, is hard to see with the camera. There we go. What type of refill does that take? Proprietary. That's what it takes. Proprietary. Wonderful. I'm always, I'm always happy when that happens. Um, I'm actually figuring out now that maybe... It was a bad idea to have the, uh, what is this? This is supposed to be a pencil, and I think it's supposed to screw out. There we go. Maybe the light's broken. That's why it's not working. I think the propping the box up with all the stuff in the back is making things too busy. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, all right. Let me readjust this box. I move things around a little bit, try and get the light better. Let's just start looking through this stuff real quick as a ballpoint pen. That's fairly standard. That's a big click stick. What is that? Oh, that's a highlighter. Hot spot. I assume it's a highlighter. Yeah, wow, that's a, that's a used highlighter. All right, put that in the highlighter spot. Got some more pencils. I don't know why I'm putting pencils front and center because pencils aren't exactly the most exciting here. That's just a big stick. That's just a regular big stick. Wow. Okay, we've got just a pencil. Although, yeah, that's a regular pencil. Here's a colored pencil. Uh, I don't know what brand that is. So we'll put colored pencils there. Mechanical pencil. Is that a side advance? Side clicks. That's what it says there. Well, it still works. Uh, the eraser is crap. Uh, we'll put mechanical pencils right there next to the regular pencils. There's a pencil. Gimbals. Number three. Oh, that has a hole drilled in it. I wonder if that's so that someone could wear it as a lanyard? Or something? I don't know. Maybe uh, this is a pen, isn't it? Yes, Pentel. Oh, the RSVP. Of course I know what that is. They, uh, they tend to not work very well. Is this also an RSVP? Yeah, it's a red one. And then we have, I bet, a black one, too. No, this one's like... Oh, no, it is. It's a Pentel SVP. They always feel different when you hold them than you remember. This is just a brand new pencil, Valentine's Day pencil. This is a tiny little thing. I don't know what this is. I mean, it's a pencil, obviously. Uh, Stanley. Oh, that's cool. Got a little, little tiny Stanley pencil. I don't know why that's so thin. Uh, let's. Just, I'm. Gonna, I'm going through the boring stuff right now. Uh, I got a paper mate. Oh, this is one of the ones that had an eraser, but it doesn't have it anymore. Maybe the cap's in there somewhere. And there's just a big click. 
because of course there's a pencil. Uh, oh, there's a carpenter's pencil. Really used one. Wow. That's a. Uh, that is. Oh wow, it's cracked too. That's nearing the end of its days. I'll go next to the pencils, but it's not quite a pencil. Close pin. That's some junk. Goes up there. I don't know where this pen and pencil set should go. Um, here's another carpenter's pencil. Wow. Uh, probably by the same company. Look at the. The. Precision metal. Looking at the colors there, that's a similar color. Although I don't know. Paint marker. Uh, the personalizer? Uh, personalizer, yes. Because I want to personalize everything with brown. This is difficult. Ooh. Yeah, I guess that, that looks like it might work. Let me test it on the box here. Eh. Yeah. Probably not very good anymore, but it looks like it might work. Can't get it on, can't get it off. Wow, put the paint marker over there. Okay. There's a... Uh, is this another one of those eraser mates? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to read. It's another one of those paper made eraser mates. That person really wanted to erase their pen lines. Ooh, there's a pencil with a... What was an eraser at one point, but probably is now uh, fused to it. This is a piece of chalk, sidewalk chalk, or chalkboard chalk, not sidewalk chalk. Sidewalk chalk is much bigger. Piece of chalkboard chalk. Uh, that's a pen. Alpine Middle School. Town it came from. There's a pencil. That almost looks like it would be a red colored pencil. But it is not. Is that a brush? That is a brush. Brush pencil. What is it? Laser stick all service? What? Oh, that's a... That's a colored pencil of some type. And maybe that's a blending, uh, blending brush? Looks kind of grody. Put that over there. There was a Firestone pencil, another one of those. Another clothespin. Uh, and I think that that's what this might be as well. Although this is just a clip of some type. Actually, looking at it, it's not really... It's not really a clothespin. I don't know what that is, but I want to put it over with the clothespins. Um, let's see, you got a couple more pencils, just regular... regular old pencils. Edward Jones. Big pen. Oh, more chalk in here than I thought there was. There's four more pieces. Like someone just opened up a box of chalk and threw it in. That's wonderful. Now uh, we've got ooh, a marker. Egan Markers. Sounds like a person's name. Egan Visual Markers clean easily from Egan Boards. So that's just ew. So bit gross at <laughs> this point. We've got a, one of those giant paper clips. Sweet. Some erasers. I think that's what those are. Yep. What brand? Uh, Chicago Auto Point. There we go. Auto Point been around for a while. That's another paper clip from Wellmont. Big giant paper clip. Got one of those, uh, those letter openers. Go across the top, cut your letters open for you. That one's from Brother. Uh, all right, we got another pencil here. Is that a? Oh, that is the Mongol copying pencil. Interesting. And this, uh, this is a pen. Oh, calligraphic pen. So that's got. Oh, that's a very fine tip. I like that tip. Fan of that. Cool. Looks like it'll work. Doesn't look dried out to me. I guess that goes there. That's where the markers are. Um. Well, here's a brush. I don't know where the brush would go. Nothing special about it. It's just a brush. Brush. This is a pencil. Ooh, that one actually works. Fascinating. Ah, it's got someone's name on it. A brand. Brand. Come on. Schaefer. Oh, okay. It's got an eraser at the top. So yeah, this is the thing that I got the box for. It's a, it's a bullet pencil. So you put a golf pencil in here, and there you go. You always have a pencil. It's got a little eraser in the back. I don't really know why that one's dead now. I assume it's replaceable as well, but yeah, that's a permanent advertising. So that when the pencil is used up, your advertising is not used up. That's fascinating. Um, what is that? It seems like a 
very hard crayon. Is it a type of chalk as well? Type of pastel, maybe? I don't know. Put that over there. More chalk. Wonderful. There's another pencil. Got a bunch of those. Another piece of chalk and another pencil. I'm noticing a pattern. Oh, I'm going to break it. That's a scotch... Scotch tape? Is that just a, just a really big piece of tape? What is this? Oh, it's like one of those, uh, it's like those poster squares things, I think. You know, where it's sticky on both sides and you peel it off. That's an interesting thing to have in there. There's a battery. Everyone's favorite. There's a Parker cartridge refill. Or a Parker type, it's not actually Parker. It's a mechanical pencil lead. Is that just HB? Yeah. For Pentel. Where did I put the mechanical pencils? Well, there's one here. Oh, there. I'll just go there. Ooh, what is this thing? Look like binoculars. Oh. Oh. Oh, is that a... That's a pen. That's fascinating. So I just in there, and then... Is this a... Peas bar. Plus Japan. So this is a Japanese... Is this a pencil? It is! What? Is there anything in there? Anything in the other one? Same thing. Fascinating. I don't know what... what? Is it it's a spring... Is this a clip? Does it... does it plug into something else? What is this? Why? I don't understand. This doesn't go in your pocket. That's... I'm... I'm confused. I'm gonna put that... put that over there. I don't know what that thing is. Um... Is that a... that's a pencil as well. It's got to be a pencil, right? Yeah, it's a pencil. There we are. What is that? It's also a Schaefer. There we go. Is that marking intentional? Oh no, that's uh, something's been rubbed off the pearl there. That's what that is, and that eraser is, of course, absolutely useless at this point. Now we're down to some weird stuff. There's a compass. Uh, it doesn't have any fluid in it anymore. It looks like it's gotten pretty dinged up. So that's useless at this point. There's a little, little sharpener. A little cheap plastic useless sharpener. Uh, I guess not quite useless. There's more of that. Did you even see it? Whatever, it was more, more packing. That's leads of some variety. Doesn't tell us what. And I still don't see what. Yeah, but those are pencil leads. Put those down there. Uh, this, that was an eraser at some point. Campus ink and pencil. What's this thing? It's like a stone. It's cold. Is it a rock? Could be a rock. I think that's a rock. <laughs> I think that is actually a rock. Oh, here's another. Oh, it's also cold. I don't know what this is. I think that's. I think it's a rock. I don't know. It's like soapstone or something. It's, yeah, it's scratching. Hmm. Here's one of those split rings. Big split ring. Go over there. A couple paper clips. Excitement. Oh, here's a, here's a tiny little, little, uh, little man. Or is that a dog? I think it's a man. I think it's supposed to be like a guard. Yeah. On a, on a tiny clothespin. Over there. And then, oh yeah, got some... I don't, that's like the head of a pin? Is it the top? It could, oh, it could be part of a necklace or something. Uh, I don't know. Then there's a... An eraser that actually is still kind of squishy, so that one might work. Although I wouldn't trust it. Oh, here's some, uh... Here's some... Oh no, these are LEDs. I thought they were all matchbooks, but no, those are LEDs. By Scripto. Those are old, 20 cents. Uh, and there's a matchbook. Matchbox, I guess. Still got matches in it. Uh, from. Made by Bryant and May in Great Britain. There we go. I'm running out of space here, and you can't even see most of this. Um, Sullivan County Soil Conservation. I don't think that person was a smoker. There's a rubber band. Ooh. This is a spring. 
a sp circular spring. Wonderful. And then I think this is, oh no, there's still a few more stuff, things. Not much though. There's a chain here. Just a, just a chain. A uh, red paper clip. You can uh, get, oh, it's a pink one. Purple one? Magenta. You can get a house with that, according to some guy on the internet. Who, uh, yeah. Oh, this one actually has the eraser. I have one of these, but it's a later version. But yeah, there's a there's one of those paper made eraser mates, and uh, they uh, kind of worked. Kind of defeats the purpose of a pen, though. It's just a regular ballpoint pen. Uh, there's this thing. Now this is like rouge, red. Ever hard Faber is that is that an eraser? It must be an eraser. Okay, that's another eraser. Fascinating. And I think that's everything. Yep, that is it. Well, okay. There's there's some more junk. I mean, there's a there's a binder thing and a twisty tie. But um, yeah, that's that's everything in that box. That was pretty exciting. I really like these Schaefer Schaefer mechanical pencils here. Um, that's pretty cool. There's all sorts. Of, I don't know what this thing is. What is I don't I don't even have any idea. I'm gonna have to research that. Made in Japan I don't even Plus Corporation. Can you read that? Plus Corporation. Focus, focus, focus. It's yellow on yellow, it's molded into the plastic. It doesn't want to focus. Okay, whatever. I don't I don't know what that is. I haven't seen that any paper mate products that look like this either. This is full full of fascinating things, although not particularly useful or probably expensive things. Nothing too collectible, but some very interesting little items. I always love these these pen things. And this video has gone on for uh, much longer than I thought it was, so I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching if you have been. Bye.